My name is Gregory Hamilton, and this is The Highway to Heaven in 88 Steps, Part 22. Wow. One brick, one day, 22. Really laying down the mile markers. We passed our third mile marker. We're starting to just really start to see progress. And let's see if anyone has actually been able to hear themselves answer the question of what is it that I want to do with my God-given life with my God-given talent what would bring me happiness what would God want me to do with my life that's a big simple question and so if we listen really hard and we keep asking ourselves this every single day and we've been now doing it in line and driving down the road at work. You know, we're taking a lot more control of this. Some of us are hearing that answer and the answer might be just so out of reach, so incredibly impossible, it seems. And that means you've got the right one. Yeah, they are that. And you got to go for the big ones. When you hear that, it, and at first it's going to seem impossible. It will seem impossible. And it will seem scary. And it will seem... Um, I'll let you do all those other fun words. Okay? But when you hear that, you know you're on the right track. And be really brave. Write these things down. Because then what happens is then you start to see it. You first thought it, and now you're seeing it. Okay, we're just repeating ourselves. But now what we're going to be doing is we're talking about visualization. You are seeing the transformation from the mind into a physical form. And then it reverses and mirrors back, and it keeps going back and forth with you. Okay? And with this visualization, this creates just incredible realities in our lives. We know through all kinds of different studies, let's just say, you know, science, that when a professional athlete does creative visualization in their head and they do the same play, let's say, or the same maneuver, or you know, a race car driver, they just, you know, they think about the track all the time. They don't always have to be riding, driving the track, right? They'll think in their minds and go around the corner and a corner and a corner. Uh, I've done extreme sports my whole life. And so you don't just try new maneuvers when you once you're in the air. You think about it many, 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 many times, you know, before you go to sleep. You wake up, you have dreams about it. You think about it while you're going there and you become, oh, let's say obsessed by the thought process of what you're trying to do and you're creating a muscle memory from your mind in your, in your visualization. You've written it down. You're determined to make this play, this maneuver, this this trick this and of course we could apply this in any other kind of field our our studies our finances our relationships anything of course but what I'm saying is that that when you visualize and you stop and think it's how it's all done if you can't see where you're going how are you going to get there you have to already be able to see which, if you're going to be just seeing nothing but the next brick, then you run right into the tree, you run right off of the cliff, you run right into the neighborhood. You don't get to your destination. Just like the blueprints of the highway, you can see the destination. You see the whole layout. And it's going to be the same thing when you hear yourself and when you're going to start going for your dreams. Because once again, what are we doing here? We're talking about praying with God 
And when we find out that God has a plan for us, we want to do that plan. And it's different for every single person. Absolutely different. And yet it's the exact same. Just showing that incredible... You to you. Yeah, does that kind of make sense? So, real important to be able to, you know, visualize what you want to do because then you'll be brave enough to ride it. And then once that happens, then you're going to go out and achieve and find that goal. Let's say it's something difficult, which would be hard for anybody of moving to a new location because of your career was is in that area or family's there or you want to go there for you know you know just weather wise but you know no one there okay so it's hard and scary to even think that that's possible but once you start to write it down You'll see that you'll see books and magazines when you go places that have that destination and they're free or whatever. You buy it or you start studying, reading up on it and then your friends start talking about how they've got a friend that they, you know how it works. So once you start playing it out and visualizing it and then playing with it, it just manifests itself. So what if you do it with determination and what if you do it with intentions and what if you're doing it because you believe that this is what you think that this is what you're supposed to be doing okay so what kind of deadlines do we need to put on ourselves well the deadline is the brick by just doing this daily and daily and daily it will manifest itself and it will drop into your lap out of nowhere and it will seem like what we were talking about yesterday you know, all your friends will sit there and go oh you got so lucky and you'll be giggling going yeah I'm just a lucky one right so keep that brain really focused on the dream we all have our tasks. Again, if we go to and live your dream and get to your destination, you're going to your place, let's say, your tasks are still going to be there, right? You're still going to take your bills with you. You're going to have the new bills when you get there. You're going to have to you know, feed yourself and shelter yourself and do all those type of things. So don't worry about how, even if it's a foreign country, I think people that don't travel, they forget that, you know, people are people. So it's the same existence no matter where the people are in the world. We're all the same. It's just an illusion that it's different there. So you can go to any place, but it's scary. And then you'll get there, though, if you want that to happen. And your highway will get you no matter what your dream is. Okay? So God bless you. I pray for you. And I pray for America.